Here we go then. Welcome along to qualifying for this week's GP event coming from the Formula One British Grand Prix. Different, a different setting for us today as we fill in where we can to get this video out for you. So the British GP event, we've got Ocon, Alonso and Cloud Raw, all 25% boosted, as you should know by now. So let's get entering Champions GP. Legendary drivers are available, so make sure you go and take a look to see if they're good enough for you. Here's what we are running. Car setup as standard and the drivers, not too bad at all. Level 4 Alonso, level 5 Ocon. I don't really want to use good boosts, but there's a chance we could score big points. So we're going to try and do that. Let me know down below in the comments, who are you running this week? Are you running both drivers? And if you are, what sort of level are you looking at running? Let us know down below as we get in to race number one, Jeddah. Here we go then. First matchup slightly out of our favour. 1-4-8-0 for the rival, but doesn't mean anything. Can we score big points? We're off to Jeddah. Hopefully it doesn't lag too much as well. It's not the best here, but fingers crossed. Might be a bit echoey because I'm in the kitchen, but let's see. Where do we start? P10, P16. Wow. Not good. That is not what we wanted. We are going to use some good boosts, though. Don't really need massive race starts. I'm going to use Kawhi on both. Can we score big points? We're going to find out in race one. Come on. Can we score good? It is all about it now. Come on. I know we've clicked the wrong button. Real player as well. Running Street Shark. So who's going to get the better strategy? We've got a good start with Ocon. Alonso not too bad. P13 off the start. Ocon trying to get through into P5 and he does that now. Alonso just stuck behind the rival who's pushing as well. So we're going to go into this first sector complete. Ocon just trying to get through. And then what we'll do is not do anything at all. Safety car time. Now that throws up a bit of a spanner. Because we're going to have to pit, I think, for mediums. And I think we pit both here. We'll go for hards as well. So, a bit of an interesting race already. As we'll come into the pits, we'll see what the rival does. And then we will be back. Definitely think three laps here is possible for Ocon, which will lead him to hards. And then I think an extra lap possible with Alonso, because, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. But let's see if anybody else pits in terms of our rival. He does. So we're going to go mediums because softs, you can only do just about two laps anyway. Rival's now in. He goes to hards. And we go to the mediums. Our other car comes in. So Ocon's not lost too much ground going to come back out in P8. That's the good sign of pitting under a safety car. And Alonso just coming back out now is going to rejoin in P17. So we'll pick you up in about 45 minutes time as we complete this safety car round Jeddah. So here we go then, about to get underway again in Jeddah. P8 for Arcon, P17 for Alonso. There should be some pit stops though now, and that's really going to affect those cars who do pit. Some of the soft tyres have gone round they're going to run out of tyres at the end of this lap. So the chances are there for us. Ocon trying to get past as the rival's pushing on hard tyres. Didn't make a pit stop either. And everyone's just struggling a little bit early on. As, yeah, I think everyone's just lo looking after their tyres pretty much. But we are in a decent position. We have got Ocon into P6. That rival's still pushing. But of course, we don't push too much through this section. It's kind of pointless. And now these soft tyres ahead of us just about to run out so could be any result possible here we don't know what we're going to get yet we've probably got one more lap to do as well with Alonso don't think he's going to get massive laps out here but let's carry on I mean he might have to go it's got 50 percent but he's going to have to go hards again I think probably could have gone mediums then can we get past Kevin we don't have the soundtrack ready for him either but he's going to be a bit of a nightmare by the look of it as we move into P6. Rival is well ahead and surely will be going to hards as well. So it looks like we won't be scoring. I mean, I didn't expect to score 47. It would have been nice to, especially from P16. But as Ocon rounds the final corner, he comes into the pits. 
And now we will get in Alonso, who's just lost out to Max Verstappen. No double stack, hopefully, either, as we're ahead of the rival. Rival goes for hards as well. We're not a million miles away from the rival, actually. And there's the other rival just going through. Head of the freeze would be nice. Perfect. And now we can try and push a little bit, but the chances are we're going to get held up. And we are by Logan Sargent as we now finally get through. Can we get past Ocon? Yes, we can. So P12, we can see the rival ahead. Who's out front? It's Verstappen, I think, on the uh, soft tyres. So we're not going to catch him. Bit of a safety car. I think we'd have been okay without the safety car. There's a breakdown for Norris. Game always does Norris dirty. And Ocon is into P1. Where are we up to with Alonso? P8. There's the rival on the hearts. So we've got one rival ahead. We're now past one. And he's used all his power unit. Can we sneak past? Yes, we can. Up to P6. What have we got ahead of us? Soft to pit, medium to hit. Five seconds of hards to catch. Don't think we're going to be able to do that. Unless. No, we're not, we can't even slow Ocon down. So we're going to have to pay. There he is. P4 and P3 ahead. And it's literally about 3.3 seconds that we've got to find. As we come around the final corner with one lap to go, the pursuit is on. We're in P4. I might as well push it here. It's not going to harm us losing a point or two out of the last corner because they are only just ahead of us. But we need to get past Max Verstappen ASAP. And we haven't. That is the annoying part. Because if we could have got past him, we might have caught Perez. And we still cannot get past Perez. And Verstappen, who's playing the team game, holding us up. But it is going to be a pretty solid race, though, from where we started against a real player as well. We will push out of the final corner, just looking after tyres. But we're going to hunt Verstappen home, and it's only going to be P1 and P4. Not too bad, though. It's still 45 points, just dropping the two points all together. Would I have liked 47 points? Absolutely. Will I take 45? Absolutely. Difficult matchup. We overcame it. Safety car as well, just to add to the fun. But overall, pretty happy with that score. Forgot to check the rival, but let's get into race two. So a nice matchup for race number two then against one 370 as we head off to Abu Dhabi. Now we should see where Fernando Alonso will qualify without a difficult matchup obviously p16 where he was in jeddah and now let's see where he sits for this one is it an improvement by two positions we'll take it p10 and p14 i'm going to run double mediums and i'm going to run double frost because i want to and i want some tires to run a 4-4 nice and easy Can we get good starts? We should get perfect. Can we blast into... I mean, you can get a good start at Abu Dhabi all the time. You can see already Ocon moving through the field and he's up to P6. Alonso hasn't got the best start. Currently P12 as gets into P11 and Ocon into P4. So decent enough start, but Alonso's got it. All to do as we come through there and take a screenshot. So Alonso, the one that's struggling. Level four Alonso. We're all over the back now of P2 and P1. They are on medium and hard. So we should stick with them. There's a lot of soft tires out there, which is going to be good to us because a one stop tends to be a little bit quicker if you are not from the front here. Good tires, 75%. Let's get past Daddy Boy Stroll. And we'll cut down again. So behind Max Verstappen, that red ball yet again as Ocon moves into P2. And Alonso into P9. Come on. We've got chances in this race of 47s. I think we were a bit unlucky with the matchup in Jeddah. Could we have scored 47 there? I think there was a chance. I think there was a possibility. Maybe we should have got mediums on that middle stint as well. But hey-ho. Ocon taking the lead 
Alonso taking the soft tyres up to P8. So he's got a good chance here, Fernando. When he eventually comes through. P7 now. Keep going. Let me know down below how much have you received safety cars lately as well. Hearing a lot of players get a lot of safety cars nowadays. Not sure if that's because we just notice it more now it's back. Or the fact that they are just ever present. Pit stops underway. Let's get through into P3. We've got one car ahead of us, which is the hard tyres, which will go five laps. And Ocon, I can pretty much push to pit now. Alonso I can as well. I mean, hopefully this could set up for a good reek of racing on this account. Because we're looking pretty competitive if we get a good start. Alonso P3. He's going to come into the pits now. Hamilton carries on. No double stacking. It's a perfect pit time. And we are back out. So Ocon, worst case scenario, is going to be P2. Alonso, as we lag a little bit as well, worst case scenario, P5. So that's looking good. It's only 11 seconds off the lead as well. So we might just push him a little bit. See if we can just close that gap and get out a net P1, P2. Verstappen ahead of us again. Let's keep pushing. It's down to 10.5 as Hamilton pits. And now we should be into P3. Where is Lewis? Just coming out of the pits and we are ahead. He is going to medium tyres. So he should be good for 47. Should be good. As we move through, can we get P2? Ooh, nearly. Nearly got it, but Ocon's clear. Hamilton's coming hard. Norris is ahead of us still. What is Norris' tyres on? We're using a lot of tyre here. And now we're finally through. Norris on the mediums and will pit. So two laps to go. Decent tyres, 47 points. Can we keep it? That's the question. Because we've got loads of power unit. We've got Hamilton and Norris. Norris still holding up the pack back there in P3. You can see the cars, a Mercedes, a Ferrari and a Red Bull all stacked behind it. So we're going to come around the final corners. One lap to go. Ocon already now on that lap. And Alonso start as well. Looking good. Maybe we could have scored 47 in Jeddah. Could we have gone a perfect GP? There were still two races to go in qualifying. But could we have had a chance? We're going to be well clear, though, of the rival. And it was a good matchup. But overall, it's going to be a nice 47 points in qualifying. And that is what matters. The more points we score, the better. Two points dropped in two races so far as we get along the line. P1, P2, 47 points. And the rival, believing it is a bot, is going to come home and finish P11 and P15. We'll take the points. We'll take the spoils. Let's go. So we will show you what that rival was running. 47 points, though. And it was a 1370. And drivers, level 4 Ocon, level 8 Leclerc. And a balanced setup, needing more cornering. Here we go then, race number 3. And we're heading to the fastest lap circuit for the previous round. And we are heading off to Austria. So if you need max points, you're going to need a fastest lap at this track. But we're going to try and simply score 47 against a real player. Can we do it? Well, we're about to find out. We're going to do a 3-3-4 and a 4-3-3. 10th and 13th this time for our drivers. We are going to run Kawhi. Kawhi not. Use one of the best boosts on the game. And here we go. Real player. Can we get our best qualifying result of the season? All to play for. Rival selecting boosts. And now, let's go. Good start needed. P13 and P10. 
good solid chance of 47 points round here though. So we just need a good start. Rival's gone for Kawhi boost as well. I told you, a good boost. And we've got a bad start with Alonso again. Not made massive ground like he could have. But now he's starting to motor. So P5 and P8. That's going to get even better as we're now into P2. P7. God, look at these cars all holding up as we're on 20% battery already. How have we managed that? Need to get the recharge on the go. P2 for Ocon. Who is bolted out front? Fernando Alonso. As expected, probably with that boost. And now we lose positions. So, cutting down. Got to save some power units. We could do four laps on the softs. I think we will extend this out. We're lagging quite a bit. Rivals push past us as well. We'll just hold fire. I mean, we could do five laps on the mediums here and save ourselves a pit stops. We could go to hards and run a five hard. Just thinking about strategy placement against this rival. We're going to go around one more time. Tyres on Ocon looking pretty good. We'll have a look at Alonso. I mean, look at that P2. Alonso has absolutely flown away as we are on track to do a 5-5, no problem. And it is up to P7. Where's this rival gone ahead of us? Just not too far ahead in P6. And, I mean, maybe we just do mediums. No problem. But I can't just running out of tyres. He's going to come into the pits. We're going to just push Alonso. And we're going to get past Verstappen. We're definitely, definitely going to run a 5-5 here. And I think mediums. Who is ahead of us? Is it Fernando still? We could run hards. He's gone mediums. I think we go hards. And we just use the tyre. Use the power unit as much as we can. So P1. And now comfortable five laps. Coming into the pits. We've dropped down a few positions. Got to hope for a lot of pit stops. And there will be. We might get some nice clean air. Let's see. P6, couple of cars. We need to get ahead of them. We do. Let's go. Keep the pace. P5. We'll push early to close the gap and we'll do that undercut. We'll pit this lap for soft tyres with Ocon. Keep pushing. We're up right behind Hamilton now. For P4. And we're ahead. He pits. Rup. Red Bull in the pits as well. We've come away from our rival. We're going to push with Ocon. So we're all now, we've got to catch Fernando, who has used around half of his tyres, but he's quite far ahead. That is going to be tricky to catch if he doesn't have to pit. I don't think he does. Because he's bang on the tyres. He's done a 4-6 pretty much. But still a few laps to go. I mean, we could try and slow him down. But let's conserve on Ocon. See if we can just let Alonso catch up and hold him up, especially on the softs. Will he pit again? I think he's still got a pit. I think we might be okay. Roybal has got to pit. That's good for us. Alonso is just not even catching up to Ocon. And I think, I think he's got to pit. I think we're okay. I think we're 47 in, which would be great news. We're not going to catch him with Ocon until Alonso. He's got a pit. And he is in the pits. Good luck for the rival. We are going to take 47. Two 47s in a row. Could we have done three? Ah, that's the annoying part. Could it have been better at this stage? But either way, to drop two points with one race to go, that's going to be some good going. On this free-to-play account, remember. So Alonso coming through this middle section now, rounds the final two corners, and he's going to take P1 for Ocon, P2 for Orlando, uh, Fernando Alonso, P1, P2, with the rival coming home by looking, P5 and P6. So a good job, good points, 47 again. 
And with one race to go, we are well in the mix. One three five nine for the rival. Bit of an unfair matchup. Level three, level four, and decent setup as well. We have got one race to go. That one race comes from Suzuka. Tricky track. Can we do it again? Let's find out now. So here we go then, race number four. Decent matchup, just slightly lower than ours, and we've got to pray to absolutely everybody that we don't get a safety car, because I have got a pizza in the oven, and if I get a safety car, it might end up a little bit burned. So hopefully, hopefully, we can get this through nice and easy. P9, P13. Is it going to be wet? Yes, it is. We're going to go for Kawhi Boosts. And we're going to try. I mean, it's a difficult track, but let's see what we can do. Here we go. P9, P13, a rocket start required. And P3 and P11 for Alonso. Not exactly a rocket start from the man in the green Aston Martin livery clothes. Ah, but maybe he heard us. Maybe we threaten him with retirement and he comes back through the field because he's currently in P9. Archon is out there smashing it already in P number one. And round the outside of Lando Norris, we are in to the lead of top eight. <laughs> We're trying. We are trying. It's going to be carnage in the pits. But the undercut... We know how strong it is in the wet, and this is a fully wet race as Alonso just trying to get past. Rivals in P4, and he's now coming at us. As you can see, we're going to use a little bit of power unit, and we're going to try and sneak ahead. We could do four laps here. Rivals push that car ahead of us, and somehow we lose two positions. Ugh. I mean, maybe undercut. Maybe undercut is what we require here. So, I mean, we might as well push him if we're going to undercut. Because at the end of the day, we don't need power unit really for a four lap stint. So Ocon will do the same. I mean, we don't, we could do the safety car here, but not for the pizza. We've got to keep this up. P7. We're now committed to P6. We are not. Well, it was committed to P6. It's back down to P7. Back into P6 we go. Can we sneak the inside of Perez? Yes, we can. And all the time, we're going to make sure we pit because we don't want to make that mistake. And now it's going to be a pit stop. So where are we going to come out? We can see a nice big gap between 17th and 18th. That would be decent to come back out in. Safety car would ruin it now, but it's OK. Archon's going to come out around P4. So around P17 was the gap. We can see the gap's gone. <laughs> it is gone. There's Piastri. Ahead of him. Kawhi Boost should bring us into it as we approach P3. Alonso somehow behind Piastri now. But let's just push him into the hairpin. And it will take that position. So he might get held up a little bit. I don't think it's going to be, or I can pretty confidently say it's not going to be 47 points in this race. But we had to undercut. We was around P6, I think, at one point. But we had obviously pushed a lot more than anybody else. So with tyres at a premium, we come down the straight with the undercut. P4. Beautiful. The undercut of dreams. As we take P4. So we're not going to get an extra two positions. Rivals still yet to use their power unit ahead of us and will push. So it's going to be... 45, it's going to be another two-point drop, potentially, unless we can catch P2, which we're not going to. Archon continues on lap six. We've got Alonso in P4. So if we push him down the straight and see where we can move him to. But at the minute, 45 points. Still push him a little bit, but I just we're not going to catch. There is P2. I mean, it'd be great to only drop like three points total. We're not going to get a safety car. P2 is going to survive, which is good. We are pushing a little bit more, but we've got a massive gap back to P5. 
Uh, we're actually closing the rival who's stuck behind P2. I think we just give it our all here. We could still get P2. We're only just not far behind him. There they are, look. Struggling away. Can we just push through this section? Let's just use the tyres. We could get P3. We're lagging a little bit. As into P3 we go. Can we get P2? Didn't think it was going to be possible. Oh, I thought we were through. It's going to be a last corner. It's going to be a last corner attack for 47. It would be fantastic. Now we push. Can we switch a roo? Don't think we're going to. Oh, we absolutely battle back. And I tell you what, we will take 46 points. That didn't look possible. It certainly was. So, yes, 46 points from race number four. So, as we look at the strategies, 3-4 was absolutely beautiful in the end. And it's a level five, level four for the rival. Decent, decent car setup as well. Obviously, a bot, I think it was. Now, let's take a look, because that is probably, again, our best qualifying of the season. 185 points. Yes, we only dropped three points and that was a point in Suzuka and two points in Jeddah. I think we we're a little bit unlucky with the safety car as well but what a round I am buzzing with that one as well let me know down below if you've scored good points today tracks at the weekend there's some tough ones there's a big bug in Miami which you're going to want to come back and check my strategy guide to on Friday for but that is a decent decent round as we scored 185 points